Magnets can be a really useful addition to 3D prints, pulling things together for things like quick release parts and door latches. But not only do magnets attract, they also repel. And when used correctly, they can make an object levitate. Bamboo Labs released a new item on their Maker Supply Store, which allows you to make a levitating 3D print. Today, we're going to take a look at them, saying what they are, how they work, and what you can do with them. So, let's take a look. Simply put, magnetic levitation works by using magnets in both a base unit and the levitating object, which repel each other, and when positioned correctly, they keep the object suspended. But there's more to this setup than meets the eye. There are three core components here. We have the base unit, which features some magnets, electromagnets, power connector and a power supply, and a few other bits which we'll be looking at in a minute. There's a touch sensor which we can plug into the base, and we have the levitating module itself, featuring some magnets and electronics that we'll be looking at shortly. Sensors in the base unit detect the levitating object and then dynamically adjust the strength of an array of electromagnets to stabilize it in the air. With the base unit powered up, I can simply lower the module down on top of it, and with it aligned correctly, once it's detected as there, I can let go and it will levitate, slowly spinning as it hovers. But if we look at this base unit here, in addition to these electromagnetic towers, there's also a big wire coil that surrounds it all, and we'll be able to see that a bit clearer in a minute. This is effectively a wireless charger, the same as you get in a wireless charger for your phone or for your watch, and using this, it can wirelessly transmit power to the levitating module. So with the touch sensor plugged into the base and everything set up again, if we touch the sensor, it activates the LEDs fitted to the levitating module. Touching it again will switch between two different colored sets of LEDs, turning them all on and then all off. Doing this all wirelessly whilst it floats in midair. This is great, but on its own, it doesn't look that exciting. That's because this is designed to be embedded in a 3D print, meaning you can make pretty much anything within limits levitate and light up. There's already some fantastic designs out there to download, so let's build one. This one features around a hundred small printed components in a mix of black, white, silver, clear, and bronze, as well as a few non-printed components like nuts and bolts. Let's see how quickly you can figure out what we're building here. When using the maglev kit with a 3D print, in most cases, the first thing you'll want to do is remove the pre-fitted 3D printed case from the base unit. Let's get the 3D printed part of this base unit popped together, along with these aforementioned nuts and bolts. The final thing that we need to do with the electronics on the base unit is to plug in the touch sensor, which can just go in here. Having applied the final touches, with the base unit all assembled, it's time to put together the levitating part of this print. With most designs, you'll be able to take this whole unit and just slot this straight inside the 3D print. But for this particular one, we actually need to take this apart and separate some of the components. But that will give us an opportunity to see what's inside. Here is the magnetic part. And here, as a completely separate component, the coil to receive the wireless power and to control the onboard LEDs. Let's slot these parts into the base of the levitating section of this print, and then we'll assemble the rest. This isn't a full tutorial on the assembly of this print, but the designer has created an excellent video that's included in the assembly instructions on MakerWorld, which I'll link to in the video description. Now that's all assembled, let's get it plugged in and set up. I'm guessing most of you have already figured out what this is, but for those of you that haven't, this is from Iron Man 1. It's the original arc reactor that Tony Stark built that was then gifted back to him by Pepper Potts. As we lower the arc reactor onto the base unit, it takes control, and as we release it, the reactor begins levitating and spinning. By touching the side here, we can adjust the lighting settings. I love the intricacies and the level of detail in this design. Looking at the outer shell as it rotates, for those of you that are old enough to remember, it has a bit of a Joe 90 feel to it as well, which definitely takes me back. I think this looks really nice, and it would be a great thing to just have on your shelf. Fantastic work to the designer MC2 Project 3D. Again, I'll link to this in the video description. I absolutely love this design, but like I said, there's already quite a few out there to download, so here's another which I think quite a lot of you are going to like. This one was much easier to print and assemble, not requiring any non-printed parts other than the maglev kit, and no need to take apart the levitating module. However, 
Due to the size and shape, it can be quite tricky to position correctly for levitation, and if you get it wrong, it gets pulled down and stuck to the edge of the base, and you'll need to start positioning it again. To help with this, the designer included a printable positioning bracket to help make alignment easier. As a big Star Wars fan, I really loved this one, especially how the LEDs light up the booster at the back of the Falcon, though the filament I used was a bit too opaque for that, so I may want to swap that for something a bit better in the future, or maybe just reprint it with a lighter infill. Again, I'll link to this in the video description. But with 3D printing, the sky really is the limit, and with a little bit of designing, you can have pretty much anything levitate. One thing that's worth noting though is that the levitating object needs to be properly balanced, and the center of gravity needs to be positioned right in the center of that levitating module. To get around this, Bamboo Labs has suggested that you can use their steel balls to integrate into the base of the model, so you can then balance it appropriately. What levitating 3D print would you like to see designed for this? I've definitely got a couple of ideas in mind, which I'm sure I'll cover in future shorts, including a potential practical application of this levitating system. If you've designed something for it yourself, I'd love to see what you've come up with, so make sure you link to them in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit the like and subscribe buttons. It makes a huge difference to me and means that you're not going to miss my future videos and tutorials on 3D printing and maker tech. If you've really enjoyed this video, you can become a channel member, getting early access to my videos and a member's discount at 3DRevolutionStore.com, including a few other goodies, by hitting the join button below any of my videos. Either way, thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing. As always, a massive thank you to my channel members for all of your support. While you're here, why not check on one of my other videos to learn something new or have some fun. Thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing.